the the meaning is exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts? Is there a difference between innovation and invention? successful innovation is actually bringing it into the marketplace. Okay. The ability to bring it into the marketplace. You can have some great inventions, but if you can't sell it or have it being used, right. then uh, okay. it's not an quote-unquote innovation. So there's an there's a, uh, implication or a connotation of adoption or implementation yeah. or bringing it to market. That's one example. Okay. Yeah. So inventing is kind of creating something new maybe that didn't exist before, but it may or may not be useful. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Um, any other thoughts on the difference between invention and innovation? But to me, innovation sounds like something that does not really have, have to be new. Like an invention is something you come up with that no one did before. Right. But invention could be just repackaging something and selling it better. Innovation. Yeah. 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 So that is one of the common uh, definitions, is that it, it, it's innovation is about taking what we know and using it in new and different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, it often has an implication of creativity, whereas inventing is actually creating something that didn't exist before. So there's this, I think there is a subtle difference between inventing and innovation. And what we do in the consortium is innovation. We take the collective knowledge and experience of our members and come up with better ways to deliver customer service. So we're not in the business really of inventing anything. We're just being creative about what we know. Which is one interesting thing around <coughs> the difference between innovation and invention. Good morning. Well, it's hard to find, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Greg. Do you want to just yeah. say a little bit who you are and what you do? Um, my name is Tammy Cole. Out of where? Um, Berlin, Germany. Oh, Berlin, yeah, I've heard of that. Many locations worldwide, but I'm in the group in Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. So we're talking about innovation. Is that the session you thought you were going to talk about? <laughs> All right. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so innovation is, um, so I looked it up, you know, there are a couple places on the web that, that have all this stuff. So Webster um, is an introduction of something new, a new idea, a device, or method. Um, Wikipedia says it's a new idea applied or implemented, uh, something substantially different, and it has positive in, uh, implications, which I thought was interesting. Innovation typically has something positive associated with it. WordNet said it's advanced or ahead of its time. So innovation has this, this time factor that this leading edge is pushing the envelope. Uh, so if, I, if I'm speaking too fast or if I'm using... Uh, <laughs> Um, what do you call what's, what's pushing the envelope? That's a metaphor? Is that a metaphor? Or a. Uh, <laughs> so feel free to stop and ask me what I need. Okay. Okay, so. Um, the envelope is referring to the sound No, I don't know. Um, I know what it kind of means, but yeah. I don't know its reference. I don't, I don't know. The jet breaking the sound barrier is kind of like breaking yeah. the I don't know. Yeah. Right. So it's push, pushing the envelope is uh, a cliche. I don't know what it is. It's a phrase we use to talk about exploring things, I guess, right? And going to the limit. Going to the, going to the edge or looking over the edge. I don't know what the origin of uh, pushing the envelope is. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly sure <laughs> where that comes from. Um, so one of the things that we've noticed about innovation uh, and the work that we've done is that uh, when people have ideas that are, they have confidence in, it, they're generally not innovative. There's a paradox about innovation. So if you have a new an idea, and if it's truly new and different, then by definition, there's uncertainty associated with it. There's, a, there's ambiguity associated with it. Uh, because if you have an idea that you're confident in, it's not, that's by definition not innovative. And so this is hard for, for businesses to deal with because most businesses don't deal well with the process of discovery. In the, in the business world, they are risk averse. Um, and so one, 
reason the consortium is only about 35 or 40 companies is because the nature of what we do is highly uncertain. Right? We have, uh, I think it was Thomas Edison that said, if you, who's one of the great innovators of all time, said if you have, if you want a really good idea, if you want one really good idea, you have to have a lot of them. And, and so he was very much aware of the fact that he tried thousands of different ways to solve certain problems, most of which didn't work. But out of a thousand chances, one proved to be uh, insightful or valuable. So, so it's interesting to think when we talk about innovation, it's something new, uh, it's on the edge, it's um, you know, taking what we know and using it in a, different, in a new and different way. It, by definition, has uncertainty with it. Um, and the, the pattern that we see in the consortium is, well, we have a really good idea. It often comes from a, somebody's making a joke or humor. Um, there's this link between a sense of humor and laughter and creativity. Um, probably one of the most undervalued uh, factors uh, or indicators of a healthy business environment is laughter. Uh, positive laughter. I'm not making fun of each other, but positive uh, a sense of humor. Um, and so it's quite often out of humor that, that these crazy ideas come up. And then eventually we come back around to them and say, well, wait a minute, what if we can do this or do that? that? Someone will go off and try it. One of the member companies will go try some idea, like some new way to measure uh, in support. We have a real challenge with how we measure people's contribution. So in the support world, um, historically, it's been how many calls people take. Right? There's a support center. There's a call center. How many calls did you take today? But that doesn't really have much to do with how much value it created, because you can take the call and say, reboot, hang up, reboot, hang up, reboot, hang up. Take a lot of calls. Yes, but not from the customer's point of view. So how do we measure value? So we've been trying new and different ways to do this. So the first time, um, one of the women from HP went back to her group and tried something and came back and, and said didn't work, that, that didn't work in terms of a measurement system. So they, they put goals on creating content for knowledge. Right? People created a lot of content, but it wasn't anything valuable. So then somebody else from uh, Cisco went off and tried, some, tried a different variation. They came back and said, nah, that didn't work. And then the third time, the, there's something about three, I don't know what it is, but the third time, we figured out how to do it. And uh, the folks at Business Objects, now part of SAP, um, created these radar charts to, to reflect people's performance from different points of view so that you actually get a sense of who's, who's creating value. So that's just an example of this iterative uh, process that never works. If it's really a creative idea, it will never work the first time. And so it's interesting to think about how receptive we are to learning what some people might call failure. Right? So it's only a failure if you haven't learned something from the, from the iteration. But, but that's what we, we find. It's, it's uh, an iterative process. So, um, so, so why is innovation important? or <laughs> with okay. a new future and yeah. uh, you, you need to uh, transfer the idea as something new, something valuable. Mm -hmm. And innovation makes, a, okay. makes it a good face to yeah. so, so HP even has as their tagline, or I think it's event, not event, but close. So it's obviously valued by business. What, what, what other ideas? Why, why is it important? For the environment, for science. All sorts of uh, organizations that need to tackle uh, challenges, disease. Okay. Yeah. Well, the initial book is about the kind of evolution of the species, the progress. Mm -hmm. the progress. Yeah. Yeah. It's competitive advantage as well. Right now, too. Okay. So we can innovate around creating uh, new services or new products right, to solve problems or, or challenges. We can also innovate to reduce the cost of what we currently deliver. 